Hi, welcome to Barson Innovation Centre. Uh, we're stood in Barn Field now on a nice sunny day, just looking at one of the winter wheat trials which we drilled on the 31st of October. So here we're looking at different row widths, um, different seed rates and a high tillering and a low tillering capacity variety to look at whether there's any impact of that row width and tillering capacity and whether that affects our ability to control grass weeds. So the trial has established nicely. Um, we can see that we have got some black grass emerging in there, a few wild oats as well. Um, so we can look at how the crop impacts that black grass throughout the season. So as I said, we, we drilled this trial on the 31st of October and following that, as most of you will be aware, the weather has been pretty awful um, and so we haven't had the opportunity to spray this trial with any pre-em herbicides. So we'll be purely looking at the impact of the crop competition um, on the black grass without any impact of pre-emergence herbicides in there. Okay, so here we're in Clark's Field in a strip of winter wheat, which was again drilled on the 31st of October. Um, and what we're looking at here is the impact of moisture on different pre-emergence herbicides. Um, so the pre-ems were applied on the evening of the 31st, immediately after drilling. And what we've done is we've got Huffle Designs to um, design us some um, plot covers so we can wheel them on and off as and when it's raining. So you can see that we've taken them off on this side and the covers are on on this side um, due to some rain that we had yesterday. Um, and the soil under there is kept really nice and dry. Um, and then we can assess the impact of that dryness or moisture on the herbicides. So this is our spring barley field where we've drilled some cover crops so that we can work out the best way of establishing the best possible spring crop. Um, so the area I'm stood in was drilled with oats and radish. Um, we've got some areas where we haven't drilled a cover crop at all and some areas where we've tried different autumn cultivations. Um, then we've got different cover crop species towards the bottom end of the field and we'll be looking at different methods of destroying those before the spring barley crop in order to achieve the best establishment and therefore hopefully the best yield of the spring barley that we possibly can. Okay, so we're now in year four of our cultivation matrix here at Barton Innovation Centre and as you can see behind me we've done some different cultivations in this field. Unfortunately we didn't get the chance to drill due to the wet weather and um, so we're currently thinking about what we're going to do. Um, but our cultivations were done in good time for a winter crop. Um, we did some shallow cultivations in mid-September um, and then our min-till and ploughing was done at the end of September. Um, so we stood in a min-till plot just here um, and the shallow early cultivation um, is just to that side. We did then have a glyphosate which we did, which we assumed to be pre-drilling. Um, however, unfortunately, we, as I said, we haven't drilled. Um, so we're now seeing the second flush of black grass beginning to emerge. Okay, so I'm stood now in an area which we ploughed um, and then next to that you can see there's an area which is left as stubble um, which will be direct drilled into um, and beyond that there's an area which has been min-tilled so that's a kind of 15 centimetre cultivation stirring up the soil um, and creating a nice seed bed. Um, so this year we're running our cultivations in the same direction as those that we did last year so for those of you that visited the orientation is the same. Um, in year five, which will be next year, we intend to turn the whole field around and we'll be cultivating um, perpendicular to these lines. The aim is at, at the end that we'll have a whole matrix of all different cultivations and we'll be able to look back in the context of the different seasons and see which cultivations were most appropriate for which of those seasons and understand why in terms of where we've put the seed in the seed bank and the seed's dormancy um, and how that's affected our herbicides performance as well.